You took away my youth when I was 19 years old. I have been an old man ever since. All I want to do is smoke my weed and leave everybody alone and have them leave me alone. Period. I'm not asking for much. I don't even make enough fucking money on pension to survive. If I didn't have a roommate, I wouldn't even be able to afford rent. Okay. Now I was a combat see, medic. You want my demons? I wouldn't wish my demons on anybody. No, man. this guy carried me out. I probably. would not want to wish my demons on anybody. When you see a 19-year-old crying for his mother, not wanting to die because he's telling his mother, I'm sorry, I'll be better. And there's not a goddamn thing you or anybody else can do for him. That's it. You don't want my demons, man. You don't want my fucking demons. You don't want them. And I live with that every fucking day of my life, and it hasn't stopped. And it won't stop and until the day I die. Well, when I came back from this country, I wasn't, according to the military, I was not disabled. Then after my teeth fell out at 26 because of Agent Orange, and I wasn't able to prove that it was Agent Orange, I got no compensation for that. About Five years ago, six years ago, I received a, a letter miraculously in the, in the mail from the VA and how they found me, I don't know, but they found me and they said you were exposed to Agent Orange when you were in Vietnam, you were in these, this area and we, we sprayed heavily with dioxin and we would like you to come in and, and, and you know, be uh, evaluated for free. Well, there's two words that throw me to death, free and free. And if it's free, I'll come in. I mean, you know. But at the same token, be honest with me. If there's something wrong with me, tell me there's something wrong with me. Don't let me go to a dozen fucking doctors with the same condition and try to explain to them from scratch what my symptomology is. And they have no idea what the hell I'm explaining to them because they've never been exposed to what I've been exposed to. They're a generation behind and they're, or, you know, they're, and, and, they don't even teach Vietnam. They don't even, they don't even talk about Vietnam. They don't even discuss Vietnam. And yet there's thousands of us running around, millions of us running around that they did not kill in Vietnam, but sent home and lied to, promised us this and never gave it to us, promised us that, never gave it to us, <laughs> promised that if we did this, 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 and this, we would do this, 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 that, and that. That's never materialized. I'm tired of promises, man. I'm tired of fucking being told that I can't do something. I want my medicine. It's natural, it's organic, it's 100% safe, and as far as I'm concerned, as long as I'm allowed to use it, you won't hear from me. But the minute you take it away from me, the minute you deprive me of my last source that I have to keep my shit together, because I'll tell you what, man, I walk a line. And most people don't understand that about Vietnam veterans. We walk a line. Anytime we can go over that line. Anytime we can go over it. When do we want it? And we don't want to cross that line. We don't want to cross it. What? I worked in your job. I paid your taxes. I fought your war. I'm only asking for one thing. What I worked hard to do back in 96. In which I should have no problem in 2011. Yet you still take my friends to jail, you still destroy my gardens, you still arrest people who I, I've learned to love and respect dearly, and you do this constantly and you have no remorse whatsoever, no conscience, no guilt, no mores, no, no feelings towards it other than animosity. You know what? Fuck you and the horse you rode up on, man. We don't need you, we don't want you, and we don't really care to have you around. If that's the way you feel, then why don't you do us all a favor and go off into that fucking wonderful land of make-believe that you live in? Because I live in the wonderful world of reality, and reality says if I don't smoke my pot in the morning, I'm one motherfucker in the world to have to do business with. I really am.